Girls Nation, what is up? Welcome back to yet another one from us. We are coming back to you from your favorite country, Niger. Niger never says it to amaze us, guys. Yeah. yeah, and the US says we are clinging on despite your request, Niger, despite your whatever you call it. We are not leaving. So we are coming to you with news from the US and Niger. The United States has decided to cling on to Niger. Remember on the 16th of March 2024, Niger said we are done. We are fed up with you, Biden, and your army. Get out of our country. But what did Biden say? Well, at first they were like, we didn't get a formal um, request to withdraw from Niger. And we're hoping that they will leave eventually. But it seems like they are clinging on and they have more requests. To this so we want to find out what is happening in niger versus the united states and who is currently leading this war they have said that there is no withdrawal without official request despite the denunciation of the military agreements while the national council for the protection of the fatherland cnsp announced on march 16 the denunciation of the military agreements linking the two countries Washington refuses to pack up without a formal and official request. Celeste Wallander, U.S. Deputy Defense Secretary, said, We have not received any request from the Nigerian government to vacate our military bases. This statement directly contradicts the CNSP press release read on Telesa Hill, which clearly stipulated the end of the military agreements with the U.S. Faced with this contradiction, the U.S. is sticking to its position. The situation is tense and uncertain. The people of Niger are overwhelmingly in favor of American troops leaving, while the United States appears determined to stay. We know that eventually the Nigerians will win this one. Yeah, they won over the French. Yeah. And the question is, is the U.S. going to leave? Because this, mm -hmm. this was some few days ago, mm -hmm. but then they said we want a formal request. Mm -hmm. Tiani came back. Do you know what Tiani said? <laughs> Tiani said this. The Nigerian government has officially asked the U.S. to provide a timetable for the withdrawal of its troops from the country. This decision comes in a context of growing tensions between the two countries on the question of American military presence. What we know is the U.S. has around 1,100 soldiers and they are mainly based in a drone base. 201 in Aga days and is now considered undesirable and remember that was the most expensive base mm. with a cost of 100 billion dollars mm. or it's million dollars and that's why they are reluctant to leave but we reported last week that some military leader in the US was saying that they were already looking for other options to relocate their base from Niger. So we are sure that eventually they will leave because the people don't want it. And you know what happens when you have these guys. That's the good thing about sanitizing and sensitizing your people about issues that are affecting their country. Yeah. The people know they will stand with their government no matter what. Even if the US tried to bring up some propaganda to this and to try and explain it in mm -hmm. a way that Chiani is put in a bad picture, the people would already know that yeah. nah, this is just one of your tricks. We need you gone for the sake of our own peace. So I think Niger is winning this one. One Niger, zero United States. Yeah. Let's so, see how far it goes. So the question <laughs> is, is the U.S. still waiting for a formal request? <laughs> so Gary Deco has asked for a formal <laughs> and they were given the following day. Yeah, so if they cause, request that... Because they said they, they, they are waiting for a formal request. Mm. Tiani said, we are waiting for a timetable. Yeah, yeah. So it's either you are making you the timetable time we'll or you we, are, we, are, we are going to wake up one day and say it's today yeah. because you didn't give us mm. a timetable. So they don't yeah. have a, a choice. Now this one, this one, Molipi, thank you so much. We still can't yeah. stop thanking you. But they were with Celeste Wallander. Yes, thank you both yeah. of you for this great move to open up our eyes, to open up Niger's, um, the people of Niger's eyes to say, we want these guys gone. Yeah, so fatherland or death may Niger win. Niger is winning already, I have no doubt about it. Guys, let us know what you think in the comment section down below. Please don't forget to like the video, share the video, and definitely subscribe, or please comment in the comment section down below. We love hearing from you. And if you'd like to support this course, please uh, donate, to PayPal mm. link on our description as well as buy us a coffee. Buy us a coffee, yeah. We see you in the next one. Bye bye. bye, -bye.